of egg whites, 12 to be precise, and 24 ounces of caster sugar. So Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee celebration deserves a Union Jack pavlova, and we're going to make one. The main tip is not to start adding the sugar to the beaten up egg whites until they are really, really thick and risen. Then to this quantity of egg whites, we're adding three teaspoons of corn flour, three teaspoons of malt vinegar, and three teaspoons of vanilla essence. That's very pillowy. And when you've shaped this, you cook it for about an hour, I think. And Roger's technique is to have the oven up at its highest putting this on the lowest shelf and then immediately turning the oven right down to its lowest setting. Do not leave it on its highest setting. That's officially a very big pavlova, but we are making a giant one. You wouldn't need to use so many egg whites, I think. <laughs> so we're after a giant oblong because we're going to turn this into a union flag. Union Jack. No, I don't think it is called that now. I think it's the union flag. So it's an hour later and it's cooked and it's out of the oven. And the inside will be marshmallowy and the outside has a light crust on it. Oh, Mr. Pavlova, where have you been all my life? We don't actually have a board big enough for the size of this. So we've got a huge old chopping board here and tin foil. All set. Just whipping up some double cream, ready for putting on the top of this luscious pavlova. And look, he's already even pre-prepared his strawberries, so they're all in halves. Mise en place, that's called, doing your preparation. Well done, Roger. This requires some strength. So Roger's just turned the whole thing over. The bit that was on top is now beneath and we've got the marshmallowy quality have over here. And that's what adding the vanilla corn flour and particularly the vinegar has done to it. That's changed it from being one giant crispy meringue. Hurrah! Roger's got some whipped cream, not solid, lovely. We've got the meringue pavlova turned over, crispy side underneath, soft belly of the marshmallowy part on the top. So there's a thin layer of whipped cream on the top of the pavlova. The sides are still naked. And we're doing something about that now. It's a good start. So this is great for a Jubilee tea party for Her Majesty's Platinum Celebration. And of course, ideal for the Eurovision Song Contest every year when that comes round. Looking pretty. Raspberries next. It doesn't have to be an absolutely faithful and accurate flag depiction. Just giving the idea of it. You know any soft fruit on top of pavlova is going to be delicious. Well, you definitely get the idea. And you do not need to use as many egg whites and as much sugar to make such a big pavlova as we have. You could probably get away with just a small one with five or six egg whites and 10 to 12 ounces of caster sugar. That will give you a smaller but perfectly good pavlova. That's very nice, Roger. Okay, which piece would you like me to cut for you? Delicious. Well, come on then, let's cut in. Oh, seriously. Marshmallowy filling, cream and berries. What's not to like? 